right, my friends, welcome back to team training today. We have an interval workout for you. We have six stations. We're going to do three minutes at each station, one minute in between to rest. So get your timer ready. Here are our exercises. So we're going to go with a plank or uh, sorry, a side plank. So first exercise in the routine is going to be a side plank. Remember, we're going to set up on our side and the best way to get into that side plank position, almost set up in a side plank push the ground down, and then drive the knees down and into the floor to raise the hips. So don't think about bringing the hips up. Think about pushing the knees down and into the floor, and that creates your side plank. Push through the ground to get the upper body engaged. You can always hold a weight or put a band around your elbow for some upper body resistance. Uh, if you're trying to get real crazy, you can raise the top leg and just make sure you don't turn it like this. The shin stays parallel to the floor. That's station one. Station two, we're gonna go squat. So grab a weight if you have it. If you have a book bag, that would be perfect. We're gonna hold it by the outside and we're gonna press it away as we squat down. Obviously, if you have a kettlebell or a sandbag, you can go bag in the arms. Next exercise we have is a walkout. So make sure you have space to move. Remember the goal with the walkout is just to make it feel like the top of the push-up. So walk yourself out to that plank, find the quads and butt, find the upper body and uh, core tension, and then walk yourself back up. So it's that continuous blend of like smooth on the walk and then hard plank at the bottom. After your walkout, mini band lateral walk. So throw the mini band on, grab an upper body weight. You can go book bag here too, kettlebell, mace, any of that stuff would be perfect. If you don't have any of those implements, a lateral bound is perfect. So inside leg comes up and we're gonna drive across. The harder you drive the arms, the more lower body power you're going to get. So play around with the upper body. Uh, fifth exercise, we're gonna do some kind of row. So again, kettlebell, sandbag, book bag are perfect. I like that staggered stance position. So we can go grab the outside of the, sand, or the uh, book bag, one foot forward, one foot back and out to the side, elbow on the knee, and then we're gonna row the book back. If you've done that uh, variation too many times, you can go with a two-handed row. So same thing like you're gonna do the press out with the squat, we're gonna go into a hinge, press the bag away, and then row it towards the body. So that way we get both arms at the same time. Last exercise is going to be some kind of, expl of explosive lower body movement. So, Sandbag clean or uh, explosive deadlift, kettlebell swing or a chop and pop. So chop and pop, remember, is kind of a progression towards the swing. Find your, um, find your deadlift stance, arms are out in front. We're gonna swipe the hands back and then go into our hinge. From here, we're gonna push through the floor and throw the hands through and lock out. Yesterday on that exercise, we got a good question, how high should the hands go? You really want, if my sternum is here, I want the hands to kind of finish within that neighborhood, okay? So swipe the hands back, lock out at the sternum. So those are your strength exercises. We're ready to get into the warm up. So first thing you wanna do is whatever breathing position feels good for you. So uh, I have on your back for the uh, workout for today, but if you prefer uh, crocodile breathing, if you rather do commando breathing with the arm and leg out to the side, that is perfect. So I'll run you through the warm up. Remember, we're going to breathe in and out of the nose here. Mouth is closed. Teeth are uh, together, but not clenched. And we're just breathing naturally in and out of the nose. Try not to breathe just towards the ceiling. Try to fill up the space between your hips and ribs. So almost think about trying to breathe deep down into the pelvis on your breathing. Let's get like two more breaths there. And then we're going to go Spider-Man front reach. So next we're going to go one knee up and one knee down. Front foot is going to come way out in front. And then the hands are going to come to the floor. So then from here, you want to tap your foot. That's the hand that's going to come off the ground. So get your chest up, squeeze your butt, and then reach across the room. Inhale on the way back. 
Exhale and reach. Maybe like three or five on each side and then switch sides. So just notice the difference side to side when you do both sides. Obviously it shouldn't hurt. And we're looking for a little bit of stretch out of the quad. So one of the other ways that I like to get some stretch on this exercise is think about driving the heel backwards as you reach across the room. So um, if we can get the lower body involved in more of a dynamic fashion, we're gonna try, probably get more stretch out of the quad. So again, hands are close, uh, hand closest to the foot, comes off the floor. And now on this one, reach and drive the heel backwards and you might feel a little more out of the quad. Get like one or two more there. And then we're gonna go bridge. So if you wanna go mini band around the hands, that's perfect. We have squat today, so I always love doing some bridges before my squats. So we're here, feet are about hip width apart or so. Grip your shoes or grip the floor with your toes. If you don't have a mini band for the upper body, you can just interlace the fingers. But toes are gripping the floor, gently drive the knees apart from each other, and then push the ground down to bridge up. When you finish the breath, come on back down. So again, kind of knees are together here, you can see that. We're gonna drive the knees apart gently, and then keep gently driving the knees apart as you come up and come back down. The other thing to pay attention to is that you don't lose the foot connection. So as you drive the knees out, you don't want your instep to come off the floor. Try to keep the ball of the foot glued. Let's get like one more there and then we'll practice that side plank. So for the side plank, you can kind of see, I'm in like a little bit of a fetal position to start. So I have an angle at the hips. First way to be uh, successful in the side plank is just try to get those hips through. So bring the knees back till they're almost in line with your hips and shoulders. Sink into the shoulder to find the bad position. And then push the ground down to really lock in the upper body and find the best position possible. With the knees, now you're gonna think about driving the knees down and into the floor until you feel your butt squeeze, and then that top hand can reach for the sky. So when I'm here, I'm just continually thinking about driving the knees down, and then I start to kind of play around with the core. So kind of play around with the height of the hips. Find the place where you feel the most core all the way across. Let's get like two or three more breaths and then switch sides. Nice. All right, then get the other side. So same thing on the other side. Remember, start in that kind of fetal position and then bring the knees back. Push the elbow through the floor and then push the knees through the floor. Top hand can reach for the sky. And then play around with the height of the hips. Also the position of the hips, roll them backwards, roll them forwards and try to find that position where you feel the most core. Let's get like two more breaths there. And then two more moves, half kneel head turn next. So one knee up, one knee down. We're gonna take that front foot. Hey Lainey, what's up Kyle? <laughs> I saw you in the waiting room. I apologize for not getting to you sooner. So we're gonna take that front foot and kind of work it in towards center to the first point where you feel a little off balance. And then we're gonna go like one or two clicks out to find the right position. Airplane. <laughs> so arms are gonna kind of rest by your sides. And then we're just gonna look straight ahead. So uh, to find the right lower body position, lean too far forward. And then too far back until that down knee feels heavy. And then we're just gonna get some head turns. So you're gonna look with your eyes first. And then the head follows and then back the other direction with your eyes, and then look the other way. So you're gonna feel those little micro adjustments, and that's what you're looking for. You should still feel like you're successful. So if it's too much, just bring that front foot out another click or two 
to widen your base. Let's get one more each direction and switch sides. Yep, and I like what you're doing there, Chloe. So yep, when you, fit, when you switch sides, lean too far forward, find that heavy knee, and then find that foot, foot position that feels slightly challenging, but still successful. Allow the hands to relax and then go. The other thing I didn't mention before is just make sure you're breathing. So it's super easy to start holding your breath to maintain position. Try to avoid that feeling. All right, and then last but not least, just a little lunge matrix so you're on your feet. Make sure you have enough room to move in 360 degrees. Is that you, Chloe? Who's listening to single ladies? I love it, I love it. All right, so with our right leg, we're gonna step forwards, go into the depth of a split squat that feels comfortable for you, and then pop yourself back up. Same thing, right leg's gonna go out to the side, sit into the hip, and pop yourself up. Right leg goes back into the side, so you're gonna turn your chest, sit into the pocket, push yourself up, and then same thing, we're gonna take that right leg straight back, go as deep as feels comfortable for your body, pop up. Then left leg, so left leg's gonna go straight back, find the toes, as deep as feels okay for you, pop back up. Back into the side with the left leg, sit into the pocket, pop yourself up. Left leg goes straight out to the side, pocket, pop yourself up, and then straight ahead, a little front lunge, as deep as feels comfortable, and pop yourself up. So that's your workout for today, my friends. Thank you for joining me.